Shalom, mighty of all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and to honor the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this word. Uh, I just got this article out of uh, rumormillnews.com, and basically, there's going to be a few events that are going to happen in the skies over the next few days. You know, back to back. Basically, we're seeing more and more of these. Uh, Eclipses, blood moons, you know, signs from heaven. And that's just all signs that, you know, that that great day of the Lord is near. But yeah, it's out of rumor mills, rumormillnews.com, entitled A Blood Moon Eclipse, The Comet of the Century, and A Ring of Fire Eclipse will be visible within the next 30 days. Uh, there will be three spectacular events in the heavens within the next 30 days. This was dated you know, Tuesday, September 17th of 2024. There will be three spectacular events in the heavens within the next 30 days. A blood moon lunar eclipse will happen this week. Uh, the comet of the century will begin to appear in the night sky later this month. And a ring of fire solar eclipse will happen on October 2nd. Needless, needless to say, this is very unusual for so many historic heavenly events to occur so close to one another. And of course, these signs in the heavens are happening at a time when our entire planet is rapidly descending into a state of complete and utter chaos. Yeah, all over the place, you know, you got wars, up wars of the people, riots, earthquakes, so it's, it's not a coincidence. Uh, on Tuesday night, you will witness, we will witness something truly special. It isn't every day that we get to see a partial lunar eclipse during a supermoon. Uh, the harvest moon, or closest full moon to the Autumnal equinox will also be a supermoon, appearing larger and brighter in the night sky. Uh, uh, subsequently, a spectacular comet that has been dubbed the Comet of the Century by astronomers will be visible in the night sky starting in late September. Uh, C 2023A3, also known as to Sichuan, Atlas, and considered the comet of the century will appear in all its splendor in our sky during September and October 2024. Due to its characteristics, astronomers believe it will be exceptionally bright, similar to Halley's Comet in 1986. A3 will shine in the northern hemisphere sky from September 27th and will remain visible until the last week of October. Uh, for those who do not remember, there will be a ring of fire, Rosh Hashanah eclipse on October 2nd. The ring of fire eclipse, also, also known as an annular solar eclipse, is a month away. And although Hawaii is the only U.S. state that will be within a partial path of viewing, parts of Chile and Argentina will see the entire eclipse, while other South American countries will also be part, also be in the partial or full path. So yeah, I don't know if I read all this, but you know, basically, you know, he's astonished about all these, these different bodies or these signs in heaven. He said it's needless to say, it's very unusual to have so many historic heavenly events to occur so close to one another. Well, I mean, that's you know, not very unusual. You know, it's prophesied in the scriptures, you know, that there'll be signs in heaven, heaven. In these last days, man. But yeah, this first scripture is Luke 21, 25. And there, 
shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity and seas and the sea and waves roaring. So yeah, he basically said what the scripture just said, you know, signs in the sun, moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations, you know, he mentioned, you know, it's very unusual that so many historic events occur so close to one another and they're all happening at a time when our entire planet is rapidly descending into a state of utter chaos. So, we're living out this prophecy right now, man. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So yeah, in the midst of that World War III, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to come back in that big father ship, man. You know, right before, you know, those nuclear missiles touch down. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off nigh. So, yeah, we look forward to these, you know, these signs of heaven, blood moons, comets, you know, ring of fire, eclipses. Because, you know, that lets us know that we're getting closer and closer to that day that Yahweh is coming to, to redeem his elect, you know. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, next scripture is uh, Joel 2.30, and I will... Show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Yeah, those blood moons, you know, those warning signs. It's, it's, it's a warning, you know, that a lot of blood is about to get shed, you know. We're seeing all these now, the heavens, you know, wonders in the heavens, earth, blood, fire. We've seen a lot of fire out here in the West Coast right now, man. Every year, you know, a bunch of fire breaks out. Ultimately, that ultimate fire is coming. And it's come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Yeah, it says, who shall, who shall ever shall call on the name of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So that name is very important, man. Especially in this time that we're in. Because you have to know that name in order to be delivered. So you can't just call the Lord, you know, whatever you want to. He has a name. The father's name is Yahweh. The son's name is Yahweh Shai. You pray in those names. It says, that whosoever shall call, on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Deliverance from what? You know, that great and terrible day of the Lord, that nuclear destruction, man. That's coming down on the planet. As the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Yeah, so it's about that remnant, the elect, man. They're the only ones that are going to understand this truth, man. And once that, that remnant, that elect is woken up, you know. That's when all that hell's gonna break loose, you know. So yeah, these are these are warning signs, man. You need to take heed to that warning. Uh, last scripture is uh, Second Esther nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand." Yeah, measure thou the time diligently, man. Understanding these blood moons, these comets, these eclipses, you know, that's measuring the time, man. That they're back to back, along with the earth rapidly descending into a state of complete chaos, you know. That, that's as clear as day right now, man. We're understanding. Then shalt thou understand. We understand now because we're seeing you know, these prophecies come to pass. That it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world in which he's made. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, man, we had like five different earthquakes back to back over the past few weeks, man. Uproars of the people, man. People 
were uproars. Just right now, you know, you had all these pagers, you know, pagers blowing up overseas. Over there's a number of chaos going on, man. Then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, so you're not gonna offset these prophecies, man. You're not gonna change the prophecies, man. This was written down since the beginning. The Lord had this planned out since the very beginning. For like as all that is made in the world at the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So yeah, we're seeing the end right now, man. The end is manifest through these prophecies, man. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So that's how the Lord shows you, man, through these signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith wherein ye have believed. Yeah, so everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works. We're going out there pushing this truth, man. Putting in that work and by your faith, man. Believing in Yahweh Shem Yahushai and believing in this truth shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I sanctified them for me from the beginning. Yeah, man, so we yeah, are very close to this thing. So I just want to bring out this article. Uh, you got three heavenly events that are going to happen pretty much back to back, which is unheard of, you know. The guy said it's very unusual for these things to happen, even as the world is descending into chaos, man. We read in Luke, man, it's like, hey, the stress of nations, man, right now, along with the, you know, sun, signs of the sun and the moon and the stars. So, yeah, you know, real close to this thing. With that, you know, shovel on.